Hey, Wahoo fans, Coach Bennett here. Uh, good to be back in front of you to preview Wake Forest, our upcoming game, and talk a little bit about the Florida State game. For those of you who watched that game, you know it was quite a battle. As I said after the game to the media, I think we made a statement that we certainly have a team that will, will play hard and show resiliency and great fight. But we also realize that, you know, when you're playing teams in the ACC, no matter what position they're in, you've got to be ready because games will come down to possession, whether it's a missed free throw or at least like say a missed block out. Any little thing can make the difference between a win and a loss. So you know you have to be ready. You know, we worked hard this week in preparing for Wake Forest, taking the good from the Florida State game, addressing the areas that we need to improve on. And the crowd will make a big difference. Again, uh, that always has been significant for us. And you guys have been great this year. And we'll continue to need that as our numbers are obviously uh, smaller. The energy and the uh, momentum you can gain from a real festive, noisy, loud crowd can maybe be worth a possession or two in a game. So I want to keep encouraging you and thanking you for uh, the support you're giving us, the energy you're giving us, and, and give it all you got for us as you know the young men on the floor will, will give it for you. Now about Wake Forest, uh, I would say this about Wake Forest, I think they're definitely one of the most improved teams in the ACC. They have uh, two of the top scorers in the ACC on their team and the first young man that will preview is C.J. Harris and if you look at his stats, averaging 17 points a game, I believe that's second in the ACC and again just a complete player. We'll take a look at some of his clips because he can manufacture offense uh, when he's even well guarded. He's a guy that can get to the rim, he can shoot the mid-range and he also can shoot the three and they'll play him off ball screens but again he can create separation and hit tough shots and that's uh, obviously a strength of his and they they spread the floor for him and do a good job and there's him obviously spacing and hitting a three. Now, the next young man we'll talk about is Travis Mackay who's averaging 16 points a game and is is right behind him in scoring. Uh, he was on the ACC all freshman team last year actually played at Jason Williford's high school and uh, I'm sure he smashed all of Coach Williford's records, but uh, he's a heck of a player. The ability to slither around the hoop, finish, get offensive rebounds, uh, and he's very mobile. You'll watch this shot here where he creates a shot where it's well defended and just backs away. And again, Harris and Makai have this ability to go. They get out in transition and he can also stop and shoot the three-point line. So he's a very versatile forward, kind of a 3-4 type, and has had some big games and certainly is a talented offensive player. Uh, the last player we'll show you some clips are is the point guard, Tony Chenault, and uh, averaging 10 points a game. Just a heady, crafty player who's strong. You know, they were real excited when they got him last year, and we'll take a, a few looks at him playing in the open court against Carolina. Has that teardrop, we call it, or the, the floater. Will certainly push and transition and find his teammates. Has good vision, but there's Chenault hitting a, a three-pointer. And uh, again, complete player. Those are three real good players, talented offensive players, and as I mentioned, um, they also bring in a transfer from Georgetown, Nikita Masherikov, who brings some, some good uh, depth to them. An improved team, and as I said, uh, we're gonna have to really play well and play hard, and uh, we, we ask for your support, and I hope you're enjoying uh, these little tidbits or scouting reports of who we're playing and a chance for me to just touch base with you. And once again, thanks for, thanks for the support, and um, I hope our guys will continue to battle for you and appreciate you showing up. Go Hoos.